Hey, this is our Frank Mars. I wanted to offer a little speculation as to why we might not be seeing alien spacecraft losing by Earth, other than ones that people see every day uh, playing around our atmosphere, but I'm not talking about lo those. Uh, let's say you're a gray alien, and you're sitting inside your spaceship, you've never heard of human laws of physics state you can't go faster than the speed of light, so you're going three times the speed of light, and you're whizzing toward Earth. Okay, you're screwed. Well, maybe, maybe not. But anyway, so we're looking at that. As I see it, there's two possibilities that would happen with the light of the sun coming towards the object, the spaceship. One is, it'll be absorbed by the spaceship heating its hull. The other possibility is maybe it goes right through it. I don't really know. But it's not going to reflect back at you because the object is flying too fast. If it could reflect back at you, then you wind up with problems like blue shift and the Doppler effect where, you know, if you have something coming towards you, say you have a car with its horn on coming towards you, the sound is a higher pitch than when it goes past you. That's called Doppler effect. That's well known. So, so it's coming towards you and it's either absorbed the light from the sun or light's going right through it because light can't interact with metal and fabric and flesh that is going that fast. That's one possibility. Now, let's take the same scenario and the alien um, is going past the Earth, which is a better scenario, at three times the speed of light. Well, light wouldn't have time to reflect off ship because it can't interact with it because it's going too fast. So again, I think the light would probably go right through it. Which means this in this hypothetical example, the light of the stars would also go right through it. How do the physicists get around with it? get around that? Sorry, you can't go faster than the speed of light. Like you said though, this is a little gray alien who uh, hasn't heard of our laws of physics, so he doesn't know about them. I know ignorance of the law isn't any excuse, but we're out of luck. So what happens if the object is heading away from us at three times speed of light? Well, obviously the trail at least behind it will be stretched out, again you wind up with a Doppler effect. might kick on. This is another one. Yeah, I kind of speculated about it, and, and and they said, nope, sorry, can't go faster than the speed of light. Can't even go the f speed of light. An interesting video, though. So, my point here is we could have alien spacecraft wasn't right by the Earth, and you would never see him. We wouldn't have the means to detect him. Because light would not be able to interact with him. Or it would interact in such a way that we wouldn't uh, recognize him. Well, one thing that has crossed my mind is these gamma ray bursts. Perhaps we're seeing. Uh, Light coming from ships. We're talking about bunched up light because of the speed of ship. That's whizzing right by the planet. I don't know. So keep your eyes to the sky, and if it flies and it looks weird, try to photograph it and get it out in public domain. That's my uh, rant for today. I'm getting tired of the naysayers. I mean, 
the science has been proven wrong again and again. They told us the Earth was flat. Turns out it's round. They told us we can go faster than 55 miles per hour. Obviously not true. And then, of course, the speed of sound was broken, even though our laws of physics said it couldn't be broken. They said the bumblebee couldn't fly, but bumblebee didn't know that, so it kept right on flying. Need I go on? Science isn't everything. Uh, folks. So keep your eyes to the sky and chin up. And have faith that someday we will... find our way to uh, sorting this mystery out and learning what's going on in the skies above us. I'm Artifacts of Mars.